Hi guys, it's Tara here with Create Life Paper Words, and this is a brand new series that Christy with Sweet Girl Designs and I have put together called Instagram Inspired. It started when Christy found this sketch that you see here on Instagram and sent it to me and said, you should try this. And, and I said, do you want to do a collab on this? And you, she wanted to do a Project Life page where I decided to go with a 12 by 12 scrapbooking page. When I looked at the inspiration piece, what I really liked was the background. I liked that it looked like a watercolor and it was um, sort of all over the place with the black um, splotches. I also really it liked the yellow and the glassing bag. The paper that I chose is from the Indigo Hills from Pink Fresh Studio. I absolutely love this line. And when I was trying to decide on the paper I was going to use, I ran across this and I was like, yep, this is the paper and the line that I have to use. So pretty much everything comes from this line. At this point, um, I'm just trying to do something that looks like tissue paper. Um, like in the inspiration piece, I end up using this sort of crepe paper that's being sort of cut. And then I put my photo on top and I realized that I did not stamp on the glassine bag and I really wanted to do that. So this stamp set is one that I picked up at Michael's and I just loved the little dream catcher and I thought that would sort of go perfectly with what I'm going to have for the uh, title for this one. So I used stays on for that. I was a little worried that it was going to smudge um, just because the glassing bags are quite shiny, but um, there was no issues with that whatsoever. So I get it adhered down and then I'm ready to put my photo right on top of it. And I just, I absolutely love how that looks with the black. It just really stands out. I'm just going through all my little die cuts to see what exactly I have. I don't have many die cuts left from this embellishment package. So I pulled out what I thought would work and there's not a lot of um, die cuts that I use anyways. I did decide I wanted to add a little tag from the top because I'd already stuck everything down. I just cut off the very top of the tag and added some threads. And now I want to work on the title and it says Chase Your Dreams. The Dreams is from a Felicity Jane die cut. Um, and then I'm using this die cut that's in the shape of the banner and I'm using the leather alphas that came with this um, Indigo Hills. The only issue is that they, they pull up so that you have like the leather part and then they have underneath that the paper part with the adhesive. So I did struggle a little bit with a couple of the letters. I did have to glue them back down. And then when I wanted to add your, I found that they were just a little too light so they didn't really pop. So I added them to a white with black label and I feel that pops them a little bit more. And then um, the dreams underneath is, it works. It works with the black and white just because there is the black in the background. I also decided I wanted to do this little tiny paper clip and I ended up using my clear um, glossy accents, sorry not clear accents, glossy accents and I put a big blob of that and then I used one of the rose gold paper clips that I have from the Felicity Jane um, a few months ago, their kit, and I'm just letting that dry. It didn't take very long to dry, I'm going to say maybe like five minutes. Um, and then I can attach it where I want to. Adding a You Got This at the very top along with a couple uh, banners. And what I decided, I had the one and I decided I needed to add a couple more. So I went with this 6x6 six six paper and I just cut it down. And then I decided to add one more. And again, I went with the 6x6 six six paper pack, cut that down, and layered it. So they're all slightly different widths and slightly different lengths as well because I wanted to have a layered look on it. And then I add the You've Got This. I'm getting close to the end. This spread came together very quickly for me. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, Christy and I are planning to do one of these Instagram-inspired uh, 
collaboration series so that you can see how we take a inspiration piece and make it our own. I, as you can see, followed pretty closely to the actual inspiration layout. I know that Christy has done a project life layout and hers is a little bit more different, but what I really love is you can definitely see the elements from the inspired um, piece in her in hers. So two very different pieces and yet both using very similar elements. Thank you again for watching. Christy and I will let you know when our next Instagram inspired collaboration video is up and hope you have a great day. As always, you can find me on Instagram at create life paper words. Bye guys.